And all we do then is with a half inch rounding over bit, is run down all the corners. The only trouble we find is that this is quite splitty wood. It's quite dry and brittle. And to try and take a, a big cut with the router, with that router bit out in one go, can lead it to split and split somewhere you don't want it to. So it's, um, I find it's better to go over with a small rounding over bit first and then follow up with this one later. So all we're going to do now is run the, the small rounding over bit along the edge, followed up by the, the bigger cutter, and that will give us our finished shape, bar a little bit of sanding and a coat of varnish, or three or four. We'll get in there. What we will do is just check the cutter on a, a piece of scrap timber to make sure we're not cutting too deep. No, that's fine. That and we just turn it over and do exactly the same. So we just turned our bit of wood over, clamped it in the vise. Again, just taking the first cut with a smaller rounding over bit before we bring in the bigger cutter. Then we'll just run the cutter over the, the other two ends of the finished end here. Well, in the router cutter tends to burn where it cuts then grain. So we just run the sandpaper over it. So then we can just tidy up this end. Get rid of the burn marks. Now, <coughs> the whole thing just needs a rub over with a piece of sandpaper. One thing that um, I always try and do is just to run a piece of sandpaper in there and just to take that very sharp corner off the lip we've produced there because varnish hates being on a, a sharp corner. If it's nicely rounded, when we're varnishing, we can just run a bit, run the brush in there and get some varnish around that corner and it will keep it nicely protected. So just a quick one down one side. And back up the other just to give that a little curve on the top there. And apart from fitting the gooseneck fitting and giving it a sand all over and some coats of varnish, 
That's the job done. Isn't it?